Today, we're diving into the fascinating and often shocking truth behind the formation of sandstorms. These natural phenomena can be both mesmerizing and dangerous, affecting millions of people around the world. So how exactly do they occur? A sandstorm, also known as a dust storm, is a meteorological event where strong winds lift large amounts of sand and dust into the atmosphere. These storms are common in arid and semi-arid regions and can transport particles over vast distances, impacting areas far from their origin. The primary driver behind sandstorm formation is wind. When wind speeds reach a critical threshold, they can lift loose sand and dust from the ground. This process begins with saltation, where particles are lifted and then fall back to the ground, dislodging other particles in the process. The type of soil and terrain plays a crucial role in sandstorm formation. Loose, dry, and fine-grained soil is more susceptible to wind erosion. Regions with sparse vegetation and disturbed land, such as deserts and dry riverbeds, are particularly prone to generating sandstorms. Weather conditions such as temperature and atmospheric pressure also contribute to sandstorm formation. Hot, dry conditions and strong pressure gradients can enhance wind speeds, increasing the likelihood of sand being lifted into the air. Cold fronts and thunderstorms can also trigger these events. Human activities such as agriculture, deforestation, and construction can exacerbate the conditions for sandstorm formation. Land use changes that disturb the soil and reduce vegetation cover make the land more vulnerable to wind erosion, increasing the frequency and intensity of sandstorms. Sandstorms can vary in size and intensity. Some can be localized, affecting small areas, while others can cover hundreds of miles. The height of the sand and dust clouds can range from a few meters to several kilometers, significantly reducing visibility and impacting air quality. Sandstorms have significant health and environmental impacts. They can cause respiratory issues, skin irritation, and eye problems in humans. Additionally, they can damage crops, infrastructure, and disrupt transportation, leading to economic losses. Mitigation and preparation are essential in areas prone to sandstorms. Planting vegetation, creating windbreaks, and using ground cover can reduce soil erosion. Public awareness and early warning systems can help communities prepare and minimize the adverse effects of sandstorms. Let's look at some real-world examples. The Sahara Desert in Africa is one of the most significant sources of sandstorms, affecting regions across the Atlantic Ocean, including the Caribbean and the Americas. Similarly, the Gobi Desert in Asia frequently impacts China and Mongolia. Climate change and land use practices may influence the frequency and intensity of sandstorms in the future. Understanding these trends is crucial for developing effective strategies to mitigate their impact and protect vulnerable communities. Sandstorms are powerful natural events shaped by a combination of wind, soil, weather, and human activities. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.